understand that's what we're doing here. You will find that after speaking in front of us for a while, you're going to feel very comfortable speaking in front of people, and then you're going to need another challenge. That's why we go sometimes outside the club and do something else, because this is like family now, so it's easy to speak in front of these guys, but it gets better when you have a bigger audience, you know, you get, you get the challenge. So let's go over the business uh, session. Obama, will you tell the, the ladies how many members we have? Well, we, you know, we have. Okay, in this club, I think we have like about 14 members. 14, now. 14 members. So Mardi Gras got a lot of them. Right. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, it happens, it goes back and forth. It depends on the time of the season. You know, people go on vacation and they're busy working. But most of the time, we might have like nine people in a meeting. Yeah, we had eight, eight last week, didn't we? Yes. Yeah. And, and Eunice couldn't come, so yeah. that would have been nine, so we had a good meeting. Yeah, it is it's actually a diverse group. You would not be the only ladies here. We have other ladies coming too. Oh. So, be aware that if you join Toastmasters, you can actually visit every other club in the city. We're not the only club in Toastmasters. There are clubs that meet at night, but you will be a member of the club, but you can go to any club if you want. Oh, okay. So let's go over the business session. Do we have any old business? Anybody wants to bring up? I want to commend Brian Root for having such a well-organized request for dues. It was on the computer. I read it, and I was most impressed. Oh, yeah. Okay. You're welcome. I used to just do it by the seat of my pants. He's organized and doing it the right way. Did everybody get their email about dues? When did you send Two days ago or yeah, something? Yeah, it's on my computer, so you yeah, know. You know if Ted got it, everybody got it. <laughs> did you get anything, Daniel, about dues? Yes, I did. Okay. I did. <laughs> did you send it from another new address? Or? From a new address? Or your usual address? In the mm, well, from the, our website, so I don't... Maybe it comes from a different address. I also noticed there was a Toastmaster app for the iPad. Oh. Got to download it, but it's asking for like a login and password, and I'm not... Hmm. Not sure how you can access it. <coughs> okay. I'll look more into it. Yeah, too. check into it and I'll help you out if I can. Okay. Yeah. My email, you might have gotten into the unwanted email. Or something. Okay. 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 Any other old business anybody wants to bring up? Any new business? Right? I had an idea that it might be nice to see if there's any artists in the group that could make a logo. So we can make a Top Cats Toastmasters logo to put on business cards or awards that we give people or something like that. So just put the word out. Are we supposed to do that? I mean, uh, uh, are we supposed to just use the official Toastmasters? Or can we, you know, make up our own, own logo? I think it's a good idea if we can. Yes, I think we, we should use both the official to show that we're actually affiliated with Toastmasters and right. we're serious about it. And Good. Our logo is to personalize it. Seems like I've yeah. seen other logos of other clubs on the web, on the web, just searching around. But well, you can do it. I think it's great. But use both, both of them. Both of them. If you have a card, use both of them. Mm -hmm. right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Have a card or anything, just make sure they look like Toastmasters. Okay. I'm going to have to find somebody else. I'm not artistic at all, but we can ask around or send an email to everybody and find out. Okay. All right, any other new business? If not, I'm going to introduce the Toastmaster for today. The Toastmaster is the person who handles the meeting and all these positions that you're going to see today, they're actually swapped every week, so everybody has the opportunity to do different things at different times. So we practice all the areas of Toastmaster. Today we have an expert as of Toastmaster. He's been in Toastmaster for 54 years. He's retired now. He's the richest man in town, probably. <laughs> <laughs> he's a stockbroker, but he's actually very honest and he's a very nice guy to be around. <laughs> Please help me welcome our Toastmaster for today, Mr. Ted Merrill. Mr. Merrill. That's, a, that's yeah. an oxymoron, isn't it? <laughs> Investor and honest? Thank you. Come on. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Mr. Nelson Ortega. Well, we certainly have an exciting program today. We have a wonderful speaker. We have a conscientious evaluator and uh, an ingenious copy master. So we're really going to have a great program. Our first speaker today 
is a man that has done a great deal in postman. He is from Venezuela. We're mighty glad to have him here with us. He works for Zante.